tell me about these two guitars here. Tell me about the one you're playing first. Yeah. I, this, this, is, this looks like the real deal. <laughs> yeah, so my friend uh, Paul Ebersold, who's a producer, writer, um, actually found this guitar for me in Memphis. Yeah. And it's a 2005. And um, this was a result of my band being on the road and... In Philadelphia, our trailer got broken into and all my guitars got stolen. Whoa. So I didn't no. have any guitars. And um, him being a, a good friend uh, found this and, um, you know, put some money together to buy it for me. And, um, yeah, it's wow. it's been... That's awesome. That's I a... guess it's been... Um, I don't know. I've had this guitar for maybe 14, 15 years. Um, wow, okay. But on the road with Jason, I've played this guitar every night. So his song, Cover Me Up, I've always played... Uh, this guitar on that song and it's just kind of my number one guitar just I love okay. the neck and I'm just very uh, closely connected to this guitar what year is it again you sir? I you think it's a 2005 this one is yeah I think so okay yeah. got it you've been yeah. playing it buddy yeah and you know I didn't buy it in, in 2005 but yeah. yeah yeah definitely I like it's the color a lot of air time yeah so yeah very cool color um, you, you were saying did, did the pickups are a little different, or what are the pickups? Yeah, so the so the pickups that were in there crapped out, and um, I have a '59 here and a Pearly Gates. Here. Oh, nice! Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. So that's a good um, combination because you get this nice kind of chimey. <laughs> glassy tone nice that sounds great yeah it's a good sounding guitar very cool sometimes just the wood just you know you get a good one, one all guitars yeah. are different so